Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I've got part two of my bathing garden collection and this part is all the body care that I actually own from the bathing garden. Before I go any further, I did reapply or not reapply it. For the first time I applied this new color for me. It's from OPI and the color is called Lisbon Once More OPI. So um, this is, I think it's off of the new, the newer or summer line for OPI, like uh, the Spain or the Lisbon line. I'm not sure. I'm not really up to the nail polish uh, collections or anything, but I like this one. I love white base pinks. Moving right along. So as mentioned before with the bathing garden, um, on top of wax, which they do wonderfully, amazing scents, blends, um and i kind of explained their t turnaround time and that so please do go to the playlist i uh, labeled ba the bathing garden and look at the latest video other than this one in the in the bathing garden playlist and it'll kind of give you a bit more of a rundown so <clears throat> now she doesn't do um, she doesn't mimic all of the scents of wax that she carries in body care rather she kind of pulls from like the more popular scents or the scents that would be more inclined to become a body care from wax. Uh, there are obviously some wax scents that not necessarily people want to slather on their body. And what she does a lot of, I mean, she does, well, I'll tell you what I have. I know she does this combo. It's like a scrub but butter combo. I don't buy those. Um, I don't know. I just like the sugar scrubs and I like the, the soaps. And I have one hand lotion to share with you. So what she does, I from what I've tried, what she's done well are her whipped soaps, which I use for shaving my legs, and scrubs, which I do use for my feet, which I know some people will be like, oh my god, what a waste. But I love the smell. Don't get me wrong. Like, I, I have so much product, and I'm not trying to brag, but I really enjoy a nice soapy, gritty scrub on my feet, and I give my feet a little more attention just because I'm on them so much. So again, I've got, from my experience, and what I'm gonna show you, I've got scrubs, and there are different bases. Some are aloe, some are mango, some are coconut, and so on and so forth. And then we have some whipped soaps, and I have one hand lotion. And um, we're gonna just do them in order of type, like not the scent, because I have multiples of the scent um, in other areas. So, um, and by the way, I've not opened any of these. I like to keep them sealed until I go to use them. So I really won't be able to take the lid off, take, show you guys a really cool, a lot of them have some really cool bits to them on the top, but they do have a clear lid and I will do the best I can to let you guys sort of see what they look like within. So the first one I've got here is, we'll do sugar scrubs first. This is blackberry jam and lemon curd. This is a mango butter sugar scrub. So, and this is just kind of, it's just the ingredients list here, so not the scent description. And this is what the inside on the top looks like. So there's an actual embed of a blackberry, which she does use also for uh, her wax melts as well. And there's little, just little bits of like, like circular lemon bits, which I think would probably melt in the shower. So that is, again, blackberry jam and lemon curd. Sugar scrub. Some of these were I purchased in a de-stashes from a de-stash from Christy. Others I have bought straight from the vendor them, herself. Pearls of the Ocean. This is made with a coconut oil sugar scrub. So I believe Pearls of the Ocean might be on her website right now, like the, the summertime collection. This one just simply has is all blue, beautiful blue in color. It has little sprinkles in it, but there's like supposedly like an ocean pearl, if you will, at the top that sort of moving around there. So there's that. I just, I don't like opening them. I know it, it's it's not really showing you guys as much as I could show. It's just I like to keep my stuff intact. Um, I won't be selling my scrubs, but I like to keep them as fresh as possible. Cheshire's Cat. This is a peach kernel oil a sugar scrub. So I find that the sugar scrubs really melt really nicely with the hot water in my shower. So I get a good scrub, but then they melt away. Like I don't feel like I got chunks left over on my shower floor or anything like that. So, and then this is what the top looks like. There is like a little um, mushroom, just little bits of sprinkles, like circular, like different colored pieces of wax or sugar. I'm not sure that could be like, you know, the candies that you can buy to make 
cakes with in that. It could be those as well because they do obviously melt with or just um, dissolve with water and so on. Um, well, one of my favorites. I went ham with her winter collection this past year and a lot of my scrubs are winter collection. Same with, um, I wish she, she does way more scrubs and fewer soaps. And when I get to the soaps, I'll talk a little bit about the one thing I'm disappointed in with the soaps, which is not much. I love her stuff, trust me. Um, but she does way more in the scrubs that mimic the uh, the clams that she puts out for the actual scents of wax than she does soaps. And maybe it's because they're more expensive or they're more difficult to make or, or create or whatever, I'm not sure. This is Russian ice bath. This is evening primrose oil sugar scrub. So it's nothing fancy. It's just white with white sprinkles, sparkles, you know, all that fun stuff. One of my favorite scents in wax from the bathing garden is also in, of course, I've bought it in the scrub, Jack's Apple Frost. This is an aloe butter sugar scrub. And nothing major, like nothing so, bad, so, so crazy, I can't even talk. There's like an embed right there of a snowflake, if you guys can see that. And then just little bits here and there. So I will, I'm, I will like my wax, I will try to use them seasonally. So that will probably be like late fall into winter that kind of thing. Then next up we have a Snow Globes World. Again, a purchase I've made, um, multiple purchases or purchase multiples of this in wax. This is a Borgage oil scrub, oil sugar scrub, sorry. <clears throat> I'm not sure what that is, but little embeds again, little bits of the sugar, sparkles and so on. That's beautiful, it's pepperminty very good for winter now I have two of the next one because I bought one when it came out as well as I purchased a in a, a de-stash de from Christy so I do have two of these and it is obviously something I also clearly I love I love it in the wax form it's elf morning blend and these are both the coffee butter sugar scrub and this is just scrumptious actually I just melted um, two cubes this morning of elf morning blend as it is my weekend and it's a coffee type scent. So what a great pick me up in the morning to kind of wake up with some coffee scented um, scrubs. So, oh, and they both look identical, but I think it's supposed to be like a holly, I'm not sure, like holly bits or something. But um, that's there. One of my all time favorite scents from the bathing garden ever is Winter Palace, and this is obviously her winter collection, and this is in an al aloe butter sugar scrub. Just beautiful, I love the scent to bits. Um, that embed, it should be in the center. You can probably see where it was where it was originally, right there, but um, it's slipped up here, but not a big deal at all. And let's see, another winter collection scrub is cranberry fig mango butter sugar scrub she's even got here that was the winter collection and this is what the top looks like on the inside i just really like her scrubs and i find her scrubs do foam up a little bit but again because i what i'm actually when it comes to scrubs what i buy the scrubs for are for like like my feet so when it comes to scrubs they don't necessarily lather as much as say like a soap or anything like that so I do understand if people um, want a more of a lathery soap, then they would probably want to go for a whip soap that I have coming up to show you then rather than the scrubs. So this is Winter Sweet. This was um, one I received for free. I actually remember this order. I got a Winter Sweet scrub for free and I got a Winter Sweet um, clam of wax for free because I made such a big order. She, the vendor gets, if you make, if you purchase $90 American or more, the vendor will, um, choose with her, by cho her choosing a full size item for free. But because I got, I think because my, she's very generous. The bathing garden is very generous when it comes to samples. Again, they do not have to do that. Uh, vendors don't have to do that, but it's lovely to, when they do to reap the benefits of that. So she gave me this full size and also a full size of the clam as well in this scent. So this is a Shea Oil Sugar Scrub, also from her winter collection, Winter Sweet. 
And these, the next two are going to be from the fall lineup. You can sort of tell based on the names. Mummy Mademoiselle. It's SOP, I swear. It says Sop Butter Sugar Scrub. I don't know what that means. Anyway, um, but this is from her Halloween collection. And it looks like a rose. Mummy Mademoiselle. So sprinkles and then um, a rosebud. And that's a real rosebud. Like, like seriously, she uses some of the most amazing um, things in her wax to make things just look so, so gorgeous. The next Halloween one I have here is Toxic Earth, which is a polarizing scent from the bathing garden. I love it. This is a coffee, butter, beer, sugar scrub. This one's very all over the board. I mean, it's almost like a dog's breakfast when it comes to things that she throws in there. But I like it. It almost gives me like vibes of like corn syrup, chocolate, earth, you know, all of it. Um, it's very strange, but I love it. And I love it in wax. So this will be the first time I use it in any other form other than wax. So that will be interesting. And again, the next items of scrubs, I have a two of because I bought one. It was a scent of the month. She does scents of the month. Um, so, and then she normally does, within that scent of the month, she generally does a scrub, a soap, a wax melt, and maybe a shape for a wax melt. But anyway, um, one was a purchase from a D-Stash and one was one I got as well. They're likely purchased around the same time because, of, like I say, it was a scent of the month, one month. This one here is the purchase from Christy. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still squeaky. So it shows you like August 2017. So Sleepy is one of my favorite scents in wax form. It's very pepperminty, very um, just pink sugar peppermint goodness. I really do enjoy this. And there's nothing major. It looks sort of like a top of a cake. Some sprinkles. Nothing major when it comes to like floofing it up a little bit, but uh, I really enjoy that because scrub is one of my favorite scents and that's why I have it in scrub form, wax form, and so on. Um, now let's talk about, let's talk about whip soaps. So the, what I was trying to say earlier is, I'll, I'll show you here in a moment all the whip, uh, whip soaps that I do have. Now what I wish, because there are other vendors like Zape that I've tried, Candy Panda, um, there's a few other vendors that have them in like an eight ounce jar and these are only four ounce jars. I wish the bathing garden would sell them in a larger jar because I feel like these whip soaps, although you don't need very much, I still feel like I go through them really quickly. But that's just me and my and what I use and, and things like that. So that's just me being weird. But that's my only thing I wish from the bathing garden to be is that these were in a bigger size because especially I mean I know I'm not the I'm I know first of all I know I'm not the only one out there. Bathing garden only ships within Canada. If it wasn't for my friends in the States allowing me to either jump in on their order or I order and have it sent to their house, um, I have to make the boxes when they're full. I need to make it worth my while to ship. You guys have no, in the States, you guys have it made. You really do. <clears throat> when it comes to shipping, I kind of like chuckle when I see people are like, oh, this is too much expensive to ship for $10. And I get that if you've only got one or two items and your your only your items cost you maybe $30 and you have to pay $10 in shipping, that I get. But guys, like um, a large flat rate box to me costs $63 American or just shy of that. And that works out to be over $80 Canadian. Plus there's a, still a chance I will get charged customs, which I generally do. So that is my risk. That is the risk I am willing to take. And of course I still do um, for the love of wax and for the love of obviously body care. So <clears throat> please know that other people have it far worse than you <laughs> when it comes to shipping and it is just shipping and there are worse things in the world. I'm not trying to harp on that. Um, but back to the, the so whip soaps, the only thing I wish, again, is that they would be bigger sizes. Like, I think these are eight ounces here, like the sugar scrubs are eight ounces, and as you can see, this is a four ounce soap, so you can sort of see the difference. So I have the first soap is Mummy Mademoiselle, and if you recall, I actually have a scrub right there of the same thing. So, and so, uh, butter whipped soap, so there's that one, nothing major. Kind of reminds me almost like tanning lotion, sort of like a bronzy, buttery kind of color. So it's kind of nice. Then we have 
Belle Morte. Again, this was from the fall collection, Butter Whip Soap again. And like a grayish color, almost a grayish purpley color. My lighting sucks, I'm sorry. There is that one. A Snow Globes World, which, uh, do I have that in? Yeah, I do. Right there, I have it in Sugar Scrub right there. And of course, I've got the matching, um, the oil whipped soap, um, Borage oil whipped soap. There's that. Sleepy, and you know I love it very much. There's two Sleepy Scrubs right there. But here is the, it's an, what is it? An aloe butter whip soap. So my whole, I, I love to match up my whip, like my whip soaps with a scrub, but it doesn't have to be. But if I, you know, if I have one open, I try to do the other and I never open a new one until I finish. So just because I'm like, that's just how I am. <laughs> And then the last whip soap before the last item, item I talked to you guys about is Winter Palace, which is my all-time favorite scent from the Bathing Garden, hands down. It is my absolute favorite from her. And that is a butter whip soap as well. Nothing fancy. Again, it is a whip soap, so you don't want it to be fancy. You want it just to be whip soap goodness. And it's all sealed, so there's that. And then finally, so I love Winter Palace scrub. I love Winter Palace soap, and I have like a two jumbo tarts and I think five clams of it like that's just showing you how much I love it I was so happy when she decided I guess because it was a popular scent she does not do this often but I obviously I ran with it she did a hand and body lotion and so I've been saving this I've almost brought it out to use for the summer I'm like no I should wait till the winter I'm trying to we'll see if I can make, wait that long but this is Winter Palace, the same scent of the scrub, same scent as the whipped soap and all the wax cubes I talked about earlier in a hand and body lotion. So I think I won't be using it for my body because I'd be fearing that I would just use it up too quickly. I would probably bring this to my bedroom and just kind of put it on my decollete before I go to bed and around my wrists because I do, I'm a side sleeper and I kind of sleep with my like my hands up around my ears so it's a, I find this scent to be very relaxing it's a peppermint lavender yumminess there's candy in it and all that stuff but it's just really really good so you guys that is part two of the bathing garden it is one of my top vendors um as mentioned before in part one I will I did a huge order at Christmas time I won't be doing a huge order for summer this year but I imagine that when she starts bringing the summer collections out next year I will probably go ham then and buy a whole bunch then and do a rotation so every year I'm either doing fall winter or summer spring summer and so I have enough that'll last me the following year if that makes sense um, it is one of those vendors that I will make sure I make a really good order to make it worth my while plus she is amazing I said she's been amazing for giving such a am like amazing amounts of samples both in wax Sometimes she'll give you a sample of the scrubs if a scrub was um, maybe some, an item that you'd ordered. And they're about hmm, a th two thirds the size of this. Here are those soaps. And they're a great way to try it. And I have found some amazing scents that I love based on just the samples. And I think that's really smart of vendors to do as well. So you guys, that is everything. Thank you very much for watching again in this part two of my bathing garden. What I have in my stash. As always, you guys, be safe, take care, and have fun. Bye, guys.